Hi, I'm CC, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft 1.20 SMP. I am here in Calyx as per usual as of late, pretty much everything I do is over here now. And I've done a little bit of progress off screen, well unintentionally off screen, I meant to record it but I just didn't because I'm great at this. So I made this little building here and the intended use of this building is going to be as my AFK chamber. I, I don't really like AFKing usually but this is necessary I think because there's a f certain farm that is integral to this area and if I ever leave the area while it's running it will completely break. So on the floor, inside, I have this little lever, and if I flick it, if I flick it, there we go, and then go down here to the basement, we down here you'll find this monstrosity. <laughs> so this is my bone meal farm. This is a design by Il Mango, and it is very fast. It will work the same way as the moss farm up top, but instead of like storing the moss, it will just drop it all into these poppers which go into some composters down there and convert it all to bone meal. I believe it makes around 26,000 bone meal an hour which is a lot but probably actually not enough for this area because there's a lot of farms that require bone meal. But all the bone meal will get shipped out down to here and go up a water tube and it will get shipped up to here. So if we go into cheeky cam mode. So down, that's where the bone meal comes from, it goes up into the loop up top, which will then go over the moss farm, which then will drop down into these chests down here, where there is quite a bit of bone meal, like quite a bit. And uh, yeah, that's still probably not enough. <laughs> but anyways, what I want to focus on today is something a lot more interesting in my eyes, which is going to be making a bunch of farms, like a bunch of them. Because in this book inside my inventory, I have a little to-do list, which contains every item that I want to farm in this area. And so far, I currently have two of them checked off, and there's three pages. Well, two and a bit pages. <laughs> and most of these require bone meal. Like, I'm pretty sure all of them require bone meal, except for like five. But let's just slowly tick them off today and see how many I can get done. And the one I want to start off with today is going to be a tall flower farm. Shut up. And I think this is probably the best place for it, since right over there is the regular flower farm. And I don't think the building will be that big. It's only floor... floor? Floor... floor... floor flowers. <laughs> it seems like there's a bee that's trapped inside my, bone, my bamboo. You okay in there, bud? You okay? Let's, let's, uh, let's let you escape. There you go. <laughs> Will you guys shut up? Why are there so many chickens in here? <laughs> the sheep laid eggs. So, the four flowers that I want to farm here are going to be the sunflower, the peony, the rose, and the lilac. The issue I'm running into is that I kind of want the front of the sunflower to be visible, which means I'm going to have to have the farm oriented this way. I wonder, could I convert this house into the sunflower or the farming building? Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to convert this little building here. Oh, what do you think of my uh, my my lanterns too? I think they're really cute, kind of like the floating Chinese lanterns or something. And also my alays, hello. Yeah, so I'll need it to be not that wide. Actually, I can quickly do a demonstration. So I believe this is all you actually need to make a tall flower farm. Just put bone meal in here and then flick this and it should just start spamming bone meal in and just collecting it rapidly into here. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that lever is powering the hopper. So if I do that instead, it's run out of bone meal. One second. So if I just do this, it'll start just rapidly making flowers. And there we go. Look at that. Honestly, the hopper might be too slow for this. Look at that, there we go. Almost, almost a stack of peonies in like about 10 seconds, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so if I built four of these little modules inside of there, then that shouldn't be that, that shouldn't be that bad. Uh, in my attempt to expand this, well, I've basically just destroyed the building, so that's cool. <laughs> but this is the general idea. 
having a little pod for each of the flowers that then gets filtered down into the chest or barrel that's in the floor. I prefer if the barrel was in the wall, but I couldn't figure out how to make it like work without the flowers being too high, so I'm fine with this. So now to do the lead set on the side, which there should be enough space in here, doesn't look like it, but there should be. So, yeah. Okay, the redstone is all sorted now, so I just need to put in some bone meal, and then add the flour, and then... Uh... Ah, eh. And then put the glass in, and then same here, oh, no, oh. So now, just need to click that, and it'll start making roses, sunflowers, lilacs, and peonies. So the next step is going to be adding in the hoppers. Hopper, hopper, Ugh. hopper, hopper. And then barrel there. Boom. And now I can cover that up in a sec. Okay, that's fine. So now is the detailing step, which is the fun bit. Okay, uh, I, I like this. I just need to do a bit of detailing around it, I guess. I, I, I don't know why I came back. One sec. Okay, this should be good for now. The bamboo on the roof. What a travesty. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is all good and going. So, uh, next farm. For the next farm, I want to do it from scratch because trying to convert this building into this was just more work than actually just doing it from scratch. And I think my next farm I want to work on is going to be for these. The cherry blossom petal thingies. Because I use them a lot around here, and right now I'm just kind of manually bone mealing them. So let's do a small little building somewhere. I don't think it needs to be very big. So I'm thinking maybe I could even slot it in here if I just move all these little guys. I got these guys from Halloween, just been sitting here ever since. So I've made a little pen here, so now I just need to blur them over. Luckily, since they're wearing pumpkins, they won't burn, so I can just kind of walk them over. I'm going to grab my ender pearl so I can get out of here quickly. Come on, guys. One of you. Where's the other one? Oh, ah! He just got a bit bored there for a second. Okay, in you come. And then... Ow! Ow! Ugh. There we go. Okay. You guys can just chill there for now. And then the sheep and eggs can... Sheep and eggs? Yeah, the eggs. The grown eggs can just uh, chill. And just wander around freely. Okay, so this is going to be even simpler than the that one. Words elude me. So let's just get in the blossom pod and we can go from there. So for those who don't know, you can actually collect items through mud blocks like so. That's why I've used it for here and also for the flower farm over there. And the reason that is, is even though mud looks like a full block, it technically isn't. When you stand on mud, you sort of sink into the floor. Like, here's a regular block, here's mud. Regular, mud. Regular, mud. So this lets you basically avoid having to... This basically lets you... This basically lets you avoid having to, like, embed a minecart or something into here. Well, it isn't the prettiest. It looks a bit weird with these on top. Go away! <laughs> Thank you. And, yeah. Sorry, I've really lost my train of thought with them around. So, I need to figure out how I'm going to actually power these guys. So now, if I was to put in lever there, and place a block on top, all of them should start firing, which would create a lot of petals. Too many petals, actually, because this is going to be way too fast for the hopper to deal with. How about instead we embed it into the floor and just make it like a manual farm. So I'll just come over here and then just press a button, get a bunch of them, and then I can just collect them manually rather than having a hopper. I think that might be better. Nothing makes me feel more incompetent than trying to do redstone on camera. I just forget how existing works. So something like this could be good. 
example, over here, I'll have like a uh, says, uh, go away. That's it. You're going to baby jail. You're gonna join the vill. You're gonna join these guys. Okay, get in, get in, get in, out, get in. No, get in. Get in. Eh. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. I can just do this. And just sort of put redstone wrapping around underneath all of these blocks here. Now it should just start going mad on all four of them. Good stuff. And then just flick the lever. Whoa, my god, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. So this should give me just a little bit under four stacks because it had to do a quick prep bone meal. And there we go. Oh my god, look at that. Leave that. And then just need to f cover this back up in grass. And I can start building a little house around it. Is this too close? I might need to move it over a bit. Oh, oh hello. I forgot I was wearing this. <laughs> God, I found this head inside the house that was behind me. Uh, I got it with Kieran ages ago, and I forgot I put it on. That is terrifying. Why has it got no eyeballs? Uh, anyways, I'll be right back once I've figured this out. And here we go. I really like this. It's like a small little baby house. But I've got a diagonal door on it, which I think is super cool. And the inside looks lovely. Just need to flick the switch, and it works. Oh, I, I love it. It's great. So, next, oh god, next up, I don't actually know, so let's take a little look at my book of fun. And what here looks easy, and what do I need? Okay, we got like, lichen, vines, kelp, seagrass, sea pickles, never. So the never ones is probably going to be high on the list, because, oh, so what the never one means is, like, the never mushrooms, the... Uh, warped roots, the crimson roots, all that stuff. That's one that's kind of urgent because I'm running out of crimson wood and the only way to get crimson wood is by growing crimson mushrooms and the only way to get crimson mushrooms is from making a shifting floor farm similar to the flower farm over here. So I would like to make that soon and maybe I can do that over here. I kind of like the idea of doing it in a similar way to this one where it's manually collected because I'm not going to be using it very often and if I'm, I'm going to be using it I'll be well instantly taking the items. So what I might do is have two areas. I'll just show you. So this is what I'm thinking. Have two of these platforms here and just have bone mill dispenser beneath that will loop and then have pistons either side that push it back and forth. And I think that should be a good way of handling it. And I can just go over and collect it myself. And god, these are ugly blocks in the overworld. Look at this, this is disgusting here. The blue one's alright, I love this shed of blue. Kind of looks like aquarium gravel. But... Yeah, doing it manually is a bit of a faff. So having the pistons should be easy. So let's do that. Okay, so this is the general idea. Same principle as over there, I've just done it slightly differently. I have this little redstone uh, loop down here, and if I just quickly tap this note block, it'll start just making a bunch of mess. <laughs> and if I want to stop it, I have to just remove this block here. But I can do that with like a piston, just pull it away and then push it back to like just close and open the circuit. But I'll have to figure out a way of having that all work with a single button press. But yeah, I got plenty of stuff. Like this is a bunch of crimson roots and then some fungus. And I'll just be able to mirror it for this one and get every type of never plant. And I want to see, can I compost this stuff? Because if not, then I'm going to have to throw it out because I don't need this many crimson roots. That's too many crimson roots. Okay, I can. Fantastic. It's going to put them in there for now. So for this building, I think I might do a time lapse because it's going to be a bit bigger and I have zero ideas for what it's going to look like. So yeah, I'll be right back. What?
So, unfortunately I had some technical difficulties and lost the second half of the time lapse, but I'm really happy with how the building is coming out and I think it looks super cool. It's a bit on the weirder side, but the idea is that one of the buildings has just become corrupted by the crops that it's growing inside and I think it looks super cool. The primary reason I did this is one because it looks cool, but also because I just kind of want to mix up some of the colours around here because it is starting to look a little bit uniform. Lots of white and pink and while that is the intention, I think it is like a little bit too repetitive so I might go around some of the other buildings and sort of add some extra detailing like moss to this one or other such uh, ideas. But yeah, this is looking super cool and on the inside it looks just as cool got this cool arch on the inside, I'm using the word cool too much, but I've got this cool arch in the middle and it is got like a sort of pseudo symmetric look where like it's the same design essentially but the inside or well, the colours are different and it works pretty simply, just tap here and it will go mad and then turn it off and you just go around and collect all the items manually, which I think is fine. Like, look how much I got from just like that two seconds. So if I just came over here when I need some stuff, should be fine. And the same for this side. So that is, oh, look at that. <laughs> so that's perfect. I am very happy with that. Back on the, on the back wall, we have some levers. Pull this one and it will start going mad on this one making vines like crazy and very aggressively, it's a bit alarming. But that gets me plenty of vines as well. And then same for the blue one, which makes a bunch of uh, warped vines. And I don't think I'll be using this bit very often because there is a much better way of getting these if I quickly grab some bone meal from here and go outside and then just sort of place down a vine and then right click with bone meal. Look at it go! <laughs> that is just obscene. Like, look how much I got from just two seconds, and I just need to tap one of these, and it will just... <laughs> I love it, it's amazing. It's like better scaffolding. But... Yeah, that's probably a much better way of doing it. Like, rather than placing down vines manually with like a large amount of them, just going around and bone mealing them seems much more efficient time-wise and inventory-wise. So I doubt I'll very... I doubt I'll be using this very often. Probably the same for the Crimson Vines too. There is one more as well, which is over here, because unlike every other Never Root where you can sort of just whack them with your fist and get them, these Never Sprouts here require shears, which I did not know about before making this. Uh, so that's cool information to learn. And because of that, it means that having like a shifting floor won't actually drop them, it'll just delete them from existence. So to get around that, I'll have to just have a manual farm. And what I've done is just made a little dispenser down here, put bone meal in, then just whap. And now it'll just keep spamming bone meal on this block, and then just need a tap with shears, and I'll start collecting a bunch of all the types. And whenever a never sprout pops up, I will to collect that too. And from just like uh, I've not tested that yet. <laughs> Guess I'll get rid of that. Maybe put like a sign there instead. So yeah, that's the only way I can really get around the Never Sprouts. So while it isn't the fastest, it at least is an option. So yeah, I think that might be where I call this episode. I wanted to do a bit more, but I'm running out of recording space. I've... Uh, I didn't realise how bad my hard drive is getting, so I'm going to have to do some clear out of that. And also looking at my book of tasks, I kind of want to make some of these farms combined into like a single bigger farm. Like say having all the the grass and fern stuff together, having all the berries together, having like lichen and vines. So there's nothing I can really do instantly right now. So I think it is a good place to call it. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.